Hello, Google. Hello, Yale. How was the day? Did you enjoy it? Lekker on key. Yet the weer like slag. Drien onopuidelijk. Is it? Ja. Ja. Ze zijn zo zoer dan Burani, so it's actually quite good for them. Ja, ne? Koko kiti nechile. I'm meeting you kite and I was looking forward to flying it this weekend. Hmm. Koko, I'm looking forward on creating this new soup recipe. With the weather, it's so perfect. You see, every cloud has a silver lining. Ah, Gogo, you used to say about the weather. Yes, in Vugo, it means something good can come out of a bad situation. You see, you might have planned something that you're not able to do, but it might give you a chance to do something that's needed to be done. Hi, Salim. Ma, are you going to make a workshop yet? You see, here's a silver lining. She'll now get a chance to clean the workshop. Now you'll get a chance to try out your new soup recipe. But I've already seen it. Doesn't it only rain in summer? Oh, someone remembers their seasons from grade one. Ah, yes, <laughs> The seasons are not only for grade one. You can learn a lot about seasons even at your age. <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> okay, let's head to the Wonder Room. Yes. Door to everything and everywhere. Open up and take us there. Okay guys, because you know so much, I'm going to ask you the basics and you're going to show me how much you know. Are we ready? Yes, We're yes, starting with word sums. Okay. As yes. usual, you will call out your name when you have the answer. Yes, right. Coco. Let me put on my other eyes. <clears throat> ready and steady and go. Uh, question one. It rained for 12 days in January and it rained for 11 days in February and 14 days in March. Fion. How many days did it rain in those Fion. months, Vian? 37. 37 days. Thank you, Vian. Question two. 40 kids were playing outside during break. Eight went back inside because it was too windy. 12 sat under a tree because it was too hot. And how many kids were? Fion. Fion. Yeah? 20. 20. Question number three. There are 24 hours in a day. In winter, the sun only shines for nine hours. How many hours are dark? Vugo. Vugo. 15. 15 days. Question number four. There are 31 days in July. 17 of them were cloudy. How many days were sunny? Vugo. Vugo. 36. No. Mm -mm. Oh, Sanele? 13. No. Oh. Vian? Vian? 14? 14 days, yes. 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 Number five. 18 kids went to school on a rainy day. Only half of them had an umbrella, and three of them went, shared their umbrella with a friend. How many kids got wet? Vuko. Marang. Vuko? Seven. No. Marang. Six. Six, Marang. Well done. Question number six. There are eight apple trees in the schoolyard. The wind blew six apples from each tree. How many apples fell off the trees? Vian. Yeah, Vian? 48. 48, Vian. Well done. Question number seven. The weather in Musina is 41 degrees. The weather in MLO is 24 degrees. What is the difference in temperature between the two towns? Vuko. Vuko. 23. No, Vuko. Vian. Vian. 17. 17 degrees. Well done, guys. Now, the winner for the first round, we have Vian with eight points. Yay! And we have Marang with one point. Woo! And we have Vuko with one point. Yay! And we have wonderful Mr. Chef Sonnelli with zero points. Mm. Yay! <laughs> Okay, guys, now the next challenge is a time challenge. Vian, please go to the table, get us some coloring pencils before I explain Can this go, go. challenge. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Vian. Thank you. Thank you, Google. In front of you, under those top pages, you have a thermometer. Okay. On the screen, 
we are going to have a South African map with temperatures. You are going to write the temperatures of the maps, of the towns on the map, on your thermometers. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Okay. So the one who finishes quickly gets more points, and the slower you work, remember, the lesser points you get. Yes, go, go. Okay. You have it? Yes, go, go. Remember when you're done, you just say, go, go, I'm done. Yes, go, go. Start now. The one who finishes first gets 10 points. You finish second, you get eight points. You finish third, you get six points. And if you finish fourth, you get four points. If you are correct also. I'm done, Gogo. -go. You're done? Yes. Vuku finished first, and then Vazvian, mm -hmm. and then Sanele, and then Marang, Kialebocha. Can I have a pencil, please? May I have a pencil? Okay, now I've got the scores. You remember we said the one who finishes first gets how many points? Ten. Who finished first? Vuku. Vuko, how many points does he have? Ten. Yay! And who finished number two? Yeah. How many points? Eight. Eight points. And who finished third? Me, Gogo. Sanele! And who finished fourth position? Marang! Okay, guys, now for our next challenge, we're going over to the table. Follow Gogo! Okay, guys, I'm done. Now I have this overall score. Okay. Okay. I'm calling it out. Are we ready? Yes. yes go, go. Okay. We have Marang. Overall score is five points. Yay, Marang. And then we have Sanele. Overall score, six points. Yay, Sanele. Overall score, Mvuko, 11 points. Yay. Overall score, Vian with 16 points. Yay! Okay, guys, I'm going to ask you questions based on the two pictures you're going to see here on the screen. Their weather conditions will show, and it will be weather conditions for two different towns. All the answers will be there. All you have to do is call out your name and answer. Question number one, which place has the windiest weather? Vian. Vuko? Um, Port Elizabeth. Yes, Mvuko, Port Elizabeth. Question two. What is the wind direction for Port Elizabeth? Yeah, Marang. 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 Uh, Southeast? Yes, you are correct. What is the wind direction for Sun City? Vuko? Northeast. Northeast. That's correct. Which place has the most cloud cover? Yeah. Sanele. Sun City, Coco. Sun City. Number five. Question number five. Which town's weather reading was taken at quarter past eight? Yeah. Sanele. <laughs> Vuko. Sun City. Sun City. Question number six. What is the wind speed for sun? Vian. Vian? Zero kilometers per hour. Zero kilometers per hour, that is correct. Question number seven. What is the humidity for Port Elizabeth? 82%, 82%, well done. Question number eight. What month was this taken in? Marang. Marang. May. Well done, Marang. And? What season was that? Marang. Vuko? Autumn. Autumn. Well done, Mvuko. Well done, guys. I'm so impressed. You know, you learn so quickly. Sure, that was quite a round. Now I've got the overall scores. We've got Marang on five points. Yay, Marang. 
and we've got Sanele on six points. Yay! And then we've got Mvuko on a good 11 points. Ooh. And then we have Vian on a fantastic 16 points. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, and now for the next challenge, let's move back to our table. Bring your pens and your papers with you. Okay. <laughs> Yay! You guys, well done. Before we start this round, let me get you the rulers because we will need them. Let's go, go hurry up. I wonder what we're doing. Here we go. Distribute them, Sanele, and listen, right? Okay, turn the papers over that are in front of you. I've given you papers, oh, and I've oh. drawn something like a cross. Mm -hmm. okay. Those are direction points or cardinal points. On top, I would like you to write a north, an N for north, or you can write in full. At the bottom, write a south, okay. and S for south. On your left hand side, write a W for West. And on the right hand side, by write an E for East. Okay guys, when the wind blows, there's always an arrow that will show. So when the arrow is between the two directional points, we might say it, the, the wind is blowing Northwest or Southwest or Southeast or maybe Southwest. Do we understand? Yes, okay. Google. Now remember, first draw the direction of the wind, then when you're done, call out your name. Yes, Google. Remember, the one who finishes first gets a point. Yes, okay. Google. Are we ready? Yes, yes Google. Google. Do we understand? Yes, yes Google. Google. Okay. Um, Be ready, guys. You can use your coloring pens. You can use whatever, as long as you are neat. The wind is blowing north. Marang. Fian. Arebone Marang. Yes, the wind is blowing north. Well done, Marang. The wind is blowing southeast. Vuko. Let me see Mvuko. Well done, Mvuko. The wind is blowing east. Marang. Vuko. Okay, Marang. Vuko, let's see yours also. Well done, girls. Well done. The wind is blowing north east. Marang. Sanele. Well done, Sanele. Okay. Well done, Sanele. The wind is blowing south. Vian. Vuko. Vian. Well done, Vian. The wind is blowing northwest. Vian. Let's see northwest. Moi, Vian. Nice, Sanele. The wind is blowing west. Vian. Vuko. Vian and Mvuko, let us see. Well done, well done. Okay guys, we have the score for this round. We have Vian at three points, nice. yay! And then we have Marang at three points, yes! And then we have Mvuko at three points again. And then we have Sanele at one point. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay, guys, the next challenge, it's similar to the thermometer challenge, but this one is to measure rain. We call it the rain gauge. A rain gauge, it is used to measure how much rain fell in a particular place. You got it? 
So we have a number of rain gorges that will show rainfall from January to December. Underneath some of those papers, you'll oh. see there's a rain gauge drawing. Oh, that rain gauge, you are going to color it in and see how much rain fell from January to December. Done, Gogo. Are you done? Yes, Gogo. Let me see, Vian. Keep it steady, let Gogo see properly because my vision is not so good anymore. Nice. Huh? Very nice, well done. Marang. Ooh. The nature girl. I'm now at it. Vuko, let me see. Oh, girl with the pink, the pink girl. Mm. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Sanelli, ting boy. Ah, he's always different. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to collect them because I said the one who finishes first gets the highest points. Ne? Yes, mm. So you got 10 points. Nice. The one who finished second to us? Marang. Marang, she got eight, eight, points. eight points. And the one who finished third was? Me. Mbuko, she got six, six points. Yes. We've got Sanelli with four points. Oh, Yay! Yes. Our next challenge, oh. this is the final challenge, is based on seasons. I'm going to tell you your seasons and then you're going to have five points based on your season. And then when you are done, you will have your presentation and the rest of us will judge you. Okay. okay go, go. But most of the judging will be done by the three of them on each one of you. Okay, okay. Go, go. You got that? Yes, go, go. Okay, so Sanele, you are spring. <laughs> Yay. Mm. Thank you. Mvuko, you will be summer. Yes. Okay. Marang, you will be autumn. Ooh. And Vian, you will be winter. winter. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready, guys? Yes, go. Start now. Welcome back. We are still continuing with our challenge. Guys, this is how we are going to do it. We will start with spring, which is Sanele, okay. summer, mm -hmm. autumn, and then winter. You go first. And remember, your friends here, they will judge you on every point. Whatever point you get right, it's two points for you. You got it. Are we ready? Yes, go Are you ready, Sanele? Yes, go Fire on. Okay, spring is of the winter. So that means where all the leaves come alive and the flowers start to blossom. And spring arrives by around about September and while well, that's in South Africa. Hi, well done on your presentation, Sanele. Let's clap for Usanele. Have you guys scored him? Yes, yes. Google. Okay, Mvuko, give us your score. I give him six out of ten. Six out of ten, not bad. Yeah, Marang? Six out of ten. Oh, six out of ten. And Jivian? Eight out of ten. Wow. Eight? Is that a boy thing or what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next is summer. Okay. Vuko. Okay. My first fact is that summer is after spring. My second fact is it rains a lot in summer. The third fact is that it is very, very hot in summer, so you should drink a lot of water or even juice. My fourth fact is summer ends in March, then comes another season. And my last and final fact is, summer starts in December, so we do not have a snowy summer, but a very hot one. Wow, that was a nice presentation. Woo. Okay. Are you ready with your scores? Mm -hmm. Yes, go ahead. Score here. Ten. Ten? Is it a goal thing? No. No, let's clap for Ten. Ten. 
Wow. She got all the facts. Mm. Wow. And you? The big 10. <laughs> the big 10. Let's clap for her. OK. Mm. Now we're moving on to autumn. OK. Give us your presentation, Sisi. First fact. Autumn is the season after summer and before winter. Second fact. In South Africa, autumn begins in March. Third fact, the weather becomes cooler in autumn. Fourth fact, the leaves begin to change color. And my fifth fact, in other countries, autumn is called fall. Wow. Mm. Nice. Nice. Okay. Mbuko. I scored a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? Is it a girl thing again? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sanele? I gave her. The big 10 again. The big 10 again? Wow! And Yavian? Nine and a half, no. <laughs> <laughs> well done, girls. No, is it your beard, Vian? <clears throat> Winter is the coolste seizoen. Okay. Meeste bloemen se blare val af en partij plant het nog blomme. Dit raak partij keer so kou dat dit rijp in die ochende. Op ander plekke sneeuw dit selfs. Dit dreen nie gewoonlik in die winter nie. Behalve in plekke soos Kaapstad, wat het meeste in die winter reen. Wow! Ja. Mm. Ok, I'm going to ask Mr. Sonnele to rate him. Well, Gogo, I'm in a good mood, so it's the big ten again. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a boy thing. <laughs> well done, Vian. Mufuko, your score? I give him 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? And Marang, 10 out of 10. Okay, guys. Now I'm going to call out the overall scores. Ne? Okay. You all did well. I will start with Sanele at 23 points. Well and another. And we have Marang at 40 points. Well and we have Mbuko at 54 points. We have Vian at 60 points. Yeah. Well done, guys. Now tell me, how did you find today's challenges? I, I enjoyed them. The, did the you? match did. was very nice. The match. Uh, I wonder why. <laughs> I, I enjoyed the last part, which was the presentation. Mm. And I loved the coordinate points. You are always so smart. I'm so proud of you. Just clap for yourselves. Friends at home, I believe you also enjoyed a lot with us and you learned a lot about the rain gauge, about the thermometer, the temperature, about presentation. I hope you will also send us your emails to epichangout at sabc.co.za. Remember, we love you. We'll meet again, same place, same time. Until we meet again, we love you. Goodbye. <laughs>